Yo, so Ezra not using his lightsaber, I think, is, you know, like a common theme Disney has now, or like maybe Dave Filoni's adapting to it, where legendary characters just don't use their lightsaber. But no, in all seriousness, I think it's actually really refreshing and really cool how he was like, no, I don't need to use my saber. The force is all I need. The only problem with this I have is that I don't think Ezra is nearly powerful enough to be using just the force. I think he needs all the help that he can get, uh, considering, you know, Anakin also used his lightsaber and the entire Jedi Council used their lightsaber. The only person who didn't use their lightsaber was Darth Sidious because he felt that the force literally was all that he needed. But then again, he used the dark side. With Ezra, I truly feel that, yeah, you know, he hasn't used his saber for maybe 10 years and he's probably rusty with it. But at the same time, you know, there was that line where Obi-Wan said, this weapon is your life. However, Ezra isn't a Jedi in that sense. He wasn't, you know, raised at the temple. He was kind of like a nomad. He was, you know, as Balin said, he was just trained after after Order 66, after the temple expired, after the temple went down and the Jedi went down. And so he's kind of used to just using the Force, but it also gives credence to this theory that I have that Ezra isn't actually there, that he is just a apparition. He's just magic, essentially, a hallucination that the Great Mothers have created to distract Sabine and Ahsoka and to send them far away. As Thrawn did say, and I mentioned this in the previous video, that he sent Sabine very far far away wisely why would he say that why would he wisely send her very far away why would he say great mothers i need your dark magic once again i think that he is some sort of a apparition or he's not really there and him using a real object an inanimate object a lightsaber would be possibly quite difficult for the great mothers to do or to use their magic for or whatever so he was just using the force and as we know the force and magic are very similar in a sense where you can push people you can pull people and you know stuff like that now ezra could definitely be there it could really be him that'd be awesome but it would definitely bolster the theory that he's not using a saber because he's actually not there you know he's just magic let's put that to the side let's say he is actually there he's maybe achieved a different level of the force that allows him to completely not have to rely on a lightsaber anymore and maybe he's just so rusty now that he's like eh, i don't need it i'm good and this is kind of ezra from rebels where he's just you know not cocky but he's pretty sure of himself uh maybe sometimes doesn't make the best decisions but uh, i would say maybe a little bit immature in some senses in some ways but also confident so he's got that going for him now palpatine is the only other person who didn't use a lightsaber now you might be like, well, he did use the lightsaber. His lightsaber was ac actually a mockery of the Jedi. He created that just to make fun of them. And he learned all seven lightsaber combat forms just to make fun of them. If he ever did fight them with the lightsaber, he'd be like, look, I'm going to beat you with your own freaking weapon. Also, he coated his lightsaber with gold, with Electrum. And this is what Mace Windu did with his saber. And in Legends, Electrum is like, it's essentially like, a, it's like, it's, it's a flex. It's like icing out your watch or whatever. It's basically like, I am the shit. I am a Jedi master. I am this good blah 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 and I've got Electrum on my saber hilt and this is like a very big honor rite of passage and so Palpatine like decked his whole thing out in Electrum kind of like as a FU to the Jedi and then he learned all seven forms and just absolutely blasted each one of them and uh when his lightsaber was no longer in use he just you know would, would use the force and that was his, his way of really asserting dominance now for Ezra I don't think he is anywhere near Palpatine I don't think we'll ever see anyone near Palpatine's level of power in Star Wars unless they want to go that route and create something, you know, a, a being who is even more cunning, determined, manipulative, and powerful than Palpatine, then, you know, by all means, to be it, Jedi. I haven't seen that yet, and I don't know how they would achieve that. We thought we would get that with Snoke, but we didn't. So with Ezra not taking his saber, you know, I would love if Luke did that in The Last Jedi. I would have really, really appreciated that instead of him just throwing it over his shoulder and then using the force to, you know, become a, a literal apparition and then dying. I think him being like I've ascended beyond the use of a weapon of a typical Jedi weapon and then him just literally using the force would be pretty rad but at the same time he could incorporate the lightsaber with the force as well by just not even having to hold it like he could just like use the force to push people and do this and that and then use the lightsaber to just swing around and just cut people in half I think that'd be pretty sweet but eh, we'll see what happens so well I guess we won't see what happens because it's done but they could incorporate that into like an in-between period Anyways, Ezra not using his lightsaber, he wasn't really that impressive with the force. It was just force push and pull. And as honestly, his force pushes kind of sucked. They weren't really all that powerful. So I would imagine like, why is he super rusty? Why are they not so strong? Maybe again, you know, this isn't really Ezra. It's just magic being used to uh, create some sort of a illusion that he's there, but he's not actually there. Just to 
buy time for Thrawn. So I thought it was really refreshing. I thought it was really cool. We could see a whole new world of force powers and abilities for sure. But at the same time, lightsabers are pretty sweet. And I'd love to see a Jedi using one and wielding one besides Ahsoka because the more lightsaber battles we have... Star Wars. So that's my thoughts on it. I don't personally think Ezra is at the point yet where he can comfortably fight anybody with just the force. However, we did see him control the saber like Vader did against Riva. And of course, in um, Jedi Fallen Order against Trilla. There are a lot of openings that we could see with Ezra using the force, and not using his lightsaber. But at the same time, like, is he really strong enough? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that's what I think about that. What do you guys think about him not using a saber? Do you like it? Is it cool? Is it refreshing? Is it new? Or are you just like, nah, I'd rather him use this green saber. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching today's vid, and I'll see you on the next one.